Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Through this video, we discuss ordinary least square method for estimating regression line. The method of least square is a powerful tool used for regression analysis. This method is also known as the ordinary least square or simply OLS method. This method is commonly used to fit a regression line. Here we explain the OLS method with an example of a two variable linear regression model. Suppose the scatter of the observations of y i's on x i's are d's. Let the equation for the relation between y i's and x i is y i equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus u i. Say the estimated line y 1 cap equal to beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap x i is this. Now we see the difference between the actual value of yi's and estimated yi caps. It is the actual value of y1. It is the estimated value of y1 cave. The difference is e1 equal to y1 minus y1 cave. It is the actual value of y2 and it is the estimated value of y2 cap. So differences is e2 equal to y2 minus y2 cap. Thus we get the differences ei's between the actual values of yi's and estimated yi caps that is EI equal to YI minus YI cap. The EIs are called the residuals. So residuals EI equal to YI minus YI cap that is equal to YI minus beta naught cap minus beta 1 cap XI because YI cap is equal to beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap XI. Some of the EIs, that is residuals, are positive and some others are negative. Say E1, E2, sorry, like E1, E3, E4 and E7 are negatives. And E2, E5, E6, E8 are positive. So the principle of the method of least square is to estimate beta naught cap and beta 1 cap which minimize the sum of squared residuals summation e i square. Since e i is equal to y i minus y i cap that is equal to y i minus beta naught cap minus beta 1 cap x i. Therefore, the summation e i square equal to summation y i minus y i cap whole square that is equal to summation y i minus beta naught cap minus beta 1 cap x i whole square. This is equation 1. Minimization of equation 1 or minimum of the sum of square of the residuals with respect to beta naught cap and beta 1 cap requires that the partial derivative of summation e i square with respect to beta naught cap and beta 1 cap should be equal to 0. That is partial derivative of e i square with respect to beta naught equal to 0. Partial derivative of e i square with respect to beta 1 cap equal to 0. Now Partial derivative of e i square with respect to beta naught one, sorry, beta naught cap equal to zero gives. 
parcel derivative of ui square with respect to beta not cap equal to parcel derivative of summation y i minus beta not cap minus beta 1 cap xi whole square with respect to beta not cap equal to 0. So that is equal to after differentiating we get this two here summation y i minus beta not cap minus beta 1 cap xi into derivative of minus beta not cap with respect to beta not cap that is equal to minus 1 after multiplication of 2 with minus 1 we get minus 2 and multiplied by this portion so taking this minus 2 into the right hand side we get 0 so that is why summation yi minus beta not cap minus beta 1 cap x equal to 0 now removing this brackets we get summation yi minus summation beta not cap minus beta 1 cap summation xi so that is equal to summation yi minus n beta not cap because beta not cap is a constant minus beta 1 cap summation xi now taking this portion into the right hand side we get summation yi equal to n into beta not cap plus beta 1 x summation xi this is equation number 2 similarly partial derivative of e i square with respect to beta 1 cap equal to 0 gives partial derivative of y i minus beta not cap minus beta 1 cap x i whole square with respect to beta 1 cap equal to 2 into summation y i minus beta not cap minus beta 1 cap x i into minus x i that is derivative of minus beta 1 cap xi with respect to beta 1 cap that is this derivative value of this with respect to beta 1 equal to minus xi now multiplying this minus sign with this 2 we get minus 2 into summation yi minus beta not cap minus beta 1 cap xi into xi again taking this minus 2 into the right hand side and multiplying this xi with this value we get summation xi yi minus beta naught xi minus beta 1 xi square by removing this brackets we get summation yi xi minus beta naught summation xi minus beta 1 cap summation xi square equal to 0 now taking this portion into the right hand side we get summation y i x i is equal to beta not cap summation x i plus beta 1 cap into summation x i square this is equation number 3 so equation number 2 and 3 are known as normal equations equation 2 and equation 3 are two simultaneous equation for two par estimable parameters beta not cap and beta 1 cap the matrix notation of these two equation is this this is a matrix of these variables and this is a matrix of the coefficient of the beta not cap and beta 1 cap now taking this coefficient matrix into the left and writing it into the right hand side we get matrix of beta naught cap and beta 1 cap equal to inverse of the coefficient matrix multiplied by the matrix of summation yi and summation yi xi now taking the inverse value of this matrix we get that is 1 by determinant value of this matrix and it is adjoint of this matrix multiplied by matrix of summation yi summation yi xi now after multiplication we get by multi uh, by multiplying sorry multiplying this row by this column we get this summation yi summation 
x i square minus summation y i x i into summation x i divided by this determinant value. Similarly, multiplying this row by this column, we get this n into summation y i x i minus summation y i into summation x i divided by the determinant value. So ultimately, we get beta naught cap is equal to summation y i summation x i square minus summation y i x i into summation x i divided by n into summation x i square minus summation x i whole square and beta 1 cap equal to n into summation y i x i minus summation y i into summation x i divided by n into summation x i square minus summation x i whole square. This is equation number 4 and this is equation number 5. Now equation 4 and 5 are called OLS or ordinary least square estimator of beta naught cap and beta 1 cap respectively. So this is the way of getting the OLS estimator of two variable linear regression model. If you have benefited from this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe my video. Thank you.